Hello friends, welcome to session 8 on isometric projection. Now, uh, as I told you earlier, we are already doing the main problems, what are given in uh, university exams and all that. Now, in this particular uh, problem, there are two solids which are to be placed one above the other. The bottom solid is a rectangular prism 60 by 100, thickness 20. And above this should be placed centrally is a rectangular pyramid of sides 40 and 25 and height 50. Okay. And as I've done in the earlier sessions, 1 to 5, do this separately. And do this separately. Since isometric projection is asked, you convert it to uh, multiply by 0 0.816 and make ISO 40, ISO 25, ISO 50 ready, ISO 100, ISO 60, ISO 20 ready. Okay. In that way, do the isometric projection of this ready, isometric projection of rectangular pyramid also ready. Okay. Now, as per this problem, on this uh, has to be placed centrally this uh, rectangular pyramid of size 40, base size 40 into 25, height 50. Okay. Now, what you do is, as usual, take mid to mid line, mid to mid line, get C. And here, as you are aware, this C to O is isometric, which will undergo reduction. I had already done ISO 50. But these things, no, this is the non-isometric edge. This is also non-isometric edge. This is also non-isometric edge. That means slant edges of a pyramid, a rectangular pyramid, a square pyramid, whatever it is, they are not parallel to any of the vertical edges of the square prism. Okay. What imaginary square prism. Hence, they are all non-isometric. They will not undergo 0.816 reduction. Now, how you manage here is, this anyway is isometric. This is anyway isometric. You do all this. And CO is isometric. Since the axis is isometric, you take ISO 50 here. Then join this as non-isometric edges. Okay. Now, in that way, once this has been done, uh, separately, then move, move, don't copy with and with reference to this point and coincide with this C, coincide with this C so that you are getting a, a rectangular pyramid at the, at the top surface of a, a rectangular prism 60 by 100 into that is thickness 20. Now, once you do since the isometric projection has been asked, it has to be proper. The darkening is very important concept. Darkening is always from top surface, top solid. But since this is a point, top surface cannot be seen. Okay, at least left surface and right surface of the top solid directly darken it. Left surface, right surface, you darken it. Okay. Then you come to the top surface of the bottom solid. Bottom solid you can darken everything except this portion which has been obstructed by the top solid. This portion you make it light. After that, left surface, right surface you make, you darken it and all other portions should be light. Okay. That's why, see here, I'll tell you again, top solid, left surface, right surface, top surface anyway point, left surface, right surface you darken it, all other things should be light lines. Then when it comes to the bottom solid, this portion should be light because it is obstructed by rectangular pyramid and remaining thing you darken it. Left surface, right surface only you darken it. All other things are light edges as you see and all that. Okay. Now you do all this. Okay. Now this completes the isometric projection. You are, as I told you in all other uh, sessions, in the main problems, you can actually stop at this. Okay. You can actually stop at this. This is the isometric projection of the combined solid, uh, what has been given, you are completed in all respect. It is 100% perfect. Now, in the next chapter, what they do is, in the, in the orthographic projection, they will give a direction of front view. Front view can be this direction or this direction, whatever they give, you have to take care of it. Let us say, if I take care of this direction, always concentrate on the bottom solid first. It is 100, 100 by 20 is the rectangle, bottom solid, correct? When you are looking from here, Front view, 100 by 20 on VP you draw. This is 100 by 20. When you look from the top for this solid, when you look from the top, it is 100 by 60. You see here, 100 by 60. Okay. Looking at 100 by 60 
and height 20, you can clearly say it's a bottom solid is a rectangular prism 100 by 60 and thickness or height as 20. Okay. Then after that, you draw the second solid that is top solid. Top solid height is 50. I have drawn here. Top solid height is 50. Now you don't know what exactly is the top solid. When you come to the top, it is not square. It is rectangle. 40 by 25. Immediately you should come to know that it is not a square pyramid. It is a rectangular pyramid of size 40 by 25. If you are looking from here, 40 is parallel to VP. Correct? That is why you draw 40 this way. 40 and this is 25. 40 by 25 you draw and height is 50. Compulsorily show the, by darkening the, uh, that is, this uh, diagonals, no? if this is O, O, A, O, B, O, C, O, D, in that way, this is one slanted, 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 that is four slanted edges you show, that means these slanted edges, okay. In that way, looking at this top view and looking at this front view, you clearly say it is a square rectangular pyramid of size 50. Looking at the top view, you say it is a, not a square pyramid, it's a rectangular pyramid, 40 by 25 base and height 50. This is the orthographic projection and this is the isometric projection completed in all respect. Okay, please take care of this also because this will be helpful to you in the next, next chapter. Okay, next you see here, there is a hemisphere and all that. You see here, hemisphere is seated over, if you look to this, there are two solids here. One is hemisphere of radius 25 and the bottom solid as you know it is 60 by 60 square prism of height 30. Okay, when you look at the front view you will get the height and the top view you will get the shape. That is 60 by 60 means it is a square prism of size 60 height 30 over that place centrally is a hemisphere of radius 25 and you know very well C, C, C is a combined axis, correct, no? This C to C is axis of uh, hemisphere. C to C is axis of this square prism. Since axis is parallel to the vertical edges and all that, this will be isometric. That means if it is isometric, it will undergo 0.816 reduction. And also I have told you, since hemisphere is involved, this has to be compulsorily isometric projection only. Okay. Now, this... C, C, C will undergo 0.816 reduction. Okay. That is why you just see here. Now you draw the bottom solid ISO 60. This 30, you make it ready. Uh, in the way I have told you earlier, you make this bottom solid ready. Then top solid also, ISO 50 square you draw. ISO 50, compulsorily ISO 50 square. And using four center method. Okay. Fill up ellipse inside. Fill up ellipse inside. Once you fill up ellipse inside, C S center tangential to this ellipse S radius or true 25 S radius, draw an arc so that this hemisphere is completed. Make this also ready in the same screen. Okay. Now, this bottom solid is also ready. Top solid is also ready. Okay. Now, you know very well this R is true 25 because the or the outer profile of the sphere or hemisphere won't change in its diameter in isometric. That is why this has to be actual only. Radius is actual 25. Or uh, to make it clear, what I will do is CS center tangential to this ellipsis radius. If you draw, it will be actually almost 25 only. Okay. Now, once you do this, what you do? Draw center to center, center to center. Okay. Now, the combined axis I have told you it will be isometric. That means C to C, you take it as ISO 25. Okay, you take it as ISO 25. Now, once you take ISO 25 here, it is not true 25, ISO 25. Combined axis is isometric. It will reduce in the length. ISO 25 you take. Now, this move, don't copy, move the entire hemisphere such that this C coincides with this C1. Okay. Now you do this. Okay, you coincide with this. Uh, now it is clear we have done it in a proper way. That is a hemisphere seated centrally on a square uh, prism of side 60 and height 30. Okay, now your 
concentrating on the visibility. Now it is a hemisphere, dark on the top surface. And this anyway, this is the thing, this is the curved surface. You can only see the top surface as an ellipse and this outer boundary, you can see this curved surface of that. That anyway, you can see. Then this is, this is darkening and this also darkening. Top solid darkening is no problem at all. Then come to the bottom solid. Bottom solid, top surface, you first you concentrate. And this portion of the thing, what you see at the back, okay, cannot be seen because it is obstructed by hemisphere. And the other things can be seen. Left surface can be seen, right surface can be seen, top surface, you make only between this to this, make it light, okay. In that way, you do this. That means this is the isometric projection of two solids seated one above the other. That is the top solid is hemisphere, bottom solid is a square prism of side 60 and height 30. This is the isometric projection. As I've been telling you, you can actually stop at this. Okay, you can actually stop at this. And uh, uh, to understand the orthographic projection, what we'll be doing in the next chapter, you carefully see here. I have given the direction of printing here this way. Unlike here, you can give from here. If you give from here, you see here, when you are looking from here, this is the first you concentrate on the bottom solid. Don't you think you get 60 by 30 rectangle? That is what I have written. 60 by 30 rectangle. That is the front view. That is, this is the di front view direction on VP. 60 by 30 uh, front view you draw on VP. Okay. Once you draw 60 by 30, immediately draw the top view. Top view is 60 by 60. Now looking at this, 60 by 60 top view and 30 in the front view, height 30 in the front view, you know very, very well it is a square prism of side 60 and height 30. Okay. Next you come to the next solid, second solid. Second solid it clearly says it is radius 25. Okay. Radius 25 and uh, when you look from the top, it is diameter is 50. That means looking at the top view, looking at the front view, you clearly know it is a hemisphere which is seated above this. If see here, had it been circle here also and circle here, you would, have, you would have said it is a full sphere. But looking at the front view, it is half only, no? That is why it is radius 25. Radius 25 or diameter 50. That is diameter 50. It is a hemisphere. Looking at the front view and top view, you can say immediately the top solid is, is a hemisphere of diameter 50, okay, diameter 50 or radius 25. Now, this is the orthographic projection, okay. Now, as I've said earlier, in so many universities, they'll directly give this. When, we, when they give this, they'll give orthographic projection is given. Looking at the orthographic projection, you should understand how the solids are placed and you should write isometric projection. Looking at this, you clearly know, first you see the first bottom solid, it is height 30, 60, 60 means it is a square prism of side 60, base side 60, height 30. Looking at the second solid, height is 25, that is radius 25. Looking at the top view, you know very well, it is a hemisphere. In that way, you know you have completed, you know that the top solid is a hemisphere, bottom solid is a square prism, you are able to complete this, okay. Now, in these problems, you are not only knowing isometric projection, but also the concepts of orthographic projections are also clearly understood. Okay. This completes the session. Thank you very much for watching. We will continue the next session later on.